Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to look at the solutions for GCE 2018 Biology Paper 2. So this is uh, question number 2. So the question has uh, figure 2.0 shows a protein molecule undergoing digestion in the alimentary canal of a human body. So we have uh, a protein here which is uh, undergoing digestion by reaction K and then we are, it's been broken down into these two uh, joint uh, pieces which are called product L and then it will further undergo reaction M which then breaks down into individual uh, blocks of or pieces and these are product C N. So the first question A1 uh, is asking us to identify the products labeled L. So we are talking about these products which are consisting of two pieces coming from the protein. So this is uh, products as what we refer to as a, a dipeptide. So that is what is referred to as a, a dipeptide. Was a dipeptide is simply a combination of two amino acids so that was the solution to question number a1 so let's move on to a2 so for a2 the question says suggest the region in the elementary canal where reaction k takes place so we're talking about reaction k where we break down the protein to now form the dipeptides so this reaction will actually occur in the stomach So here you could have uh, put your answer stomach or the duodenum. So here I will simply write the stomach. So that is the solution to question number A2. Then the next question is uh, a B. And uh, B reads reaction M completes the digestion of proteins. So we have uh, reaction M here where we are breaking down the dipeptides into the end products of a protein. So here we are asked to say which enzyme catalyzes reaction M. So to break down the dipeptides into amino acids, the enzyme which is used is a dipeptase. Dipeptidase. So that is the enzyme. Then uh, the next question, which is uh, B2, what is the pH at which reaction M would uh, be catalyzed by the enzyme identified in uh, B1? So here we are talking about uh, dipeptides. So dipeptides will be actually be present inside the, uh, the, uh, the jejunum of the small intestines and the small intestines work at an uh, alkaline pH. So the answer here is simply alkaline. So the pH will be alkaline. We don't necessarily need to memorize the pH value at uh, the O level biology uh, level. Then uh, the next question is uh, uh, B3. And B3 says suggest where the enzyme named in uh, B1 above is it produced. So dipeptase is actually produced in the jejunum. So the jejunum, which is the last part of the alimentary canal. Then in the next question is uh, B4. And B4 says identify the products labeled D N. So if we go back to our diagram here, we had our protein being digested into uh, dipeptides, then later on into product M's, which are amino acids. So the building block for a protein is simply amino acids. So the end product after protein digestion is done are simply amino acids. So products N is simply amino acids. So that is uh, the solution. Then uh, we move on to the next question. So the next question is uh, question number C. And C simply says suggest three 
adaptations which make the ileum suitable for digestion of food so the ileum is the large uh, last part of the uh, small intestines and it has got uh, a number of adaptations which enable it to absorb food so the first adaptation we have is that uh, the ileum so the ileum is uh, very long So it's very long to actually provide a large surface area for absorption for the absorption of food. So that is the first adaptation in that is actually very long so that will ensure that all the food is actually absorbed then the next adaptation we have is that uh, it has uh, it has a thin epithelium for efficient for efficient diffusion Of digested food so that is the second adaptation we have then uh, the other adaptation is that it has uh, villi and uh, microvilli microvilli to further increase the surface area for absorption for absorption of digested food so these were the solution to question number two for GCE 2018 Biology Paper 2. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any latest video which I upload. Thank you so much. I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.